Hello friends, welcome to Coding with Janish channel. So in this video, we will solve Lead Code Weekly Contest 345 that was organized today morning 8 a.m. Uh, the problem number is D, right? The problem number D or the fourth problem, which is rated five points, right? So in this problem, we need to count the number of complete connected components. Okay, you are given a graph. The edges are numbered from AI to BI. You need to run the number of connect complete connected components. So there are two keywords here: complete and connected. So generally we know that what are connected components, right? Connected components means in one DFS traversal you can visit all of the vertices of that component. Okay. So uh, you need to find the number of complete connected components. In this, in the second part, I've also taken one example. So in this you are given one graph 0 to 1, 0 to 2 and 1 to 2. And there are another, another component is 3 to 4 and one more is 5, right? So these are, these all are, we know that there are three connected components th three connected components now we need to check how ma how many of them are complete so what do you mean by complete as the definition suggests complete means uh, if there exists an edge between every pair of vertices edge between every pair of vertices every pair of vertices so this is the definition of complete component right now how would you solve this problem so for to count the number of connected components we do dfs traversal right that is very simple DFS traversal we do right so in the DFS traversal itself we will find out the number of edges okay you will find out the number of edges so while doing the DFS traversal of 0 or I mean the component with 0 1 and 2 you would get the number of edges is 6 sorry 3 number of edges would be 3 right so there is one uh, popular algorithm which says that uh, if if the number of vertices is equal equal to the edges sorry vertices is equal to n into n minus 1 by 2 sorry not vertices this is the edges so the count of edges is equal to n into n minus 1 by 2 then the uh, graph is said to be complete okay then the graph is said to be complete now let me take one more example okay why i am saying that this is this is valid see you can take oh, and three, three triangle right this is a complete graph so edges is 3 sorry vertices is 3 now what are the edges edges is n into n minus 1 by 2 3 into 2 by 2 which is 3 right so this is a complete graph again let me take one 4 uh, vertice graph edges sorry the vertices are 4 what are the edges n into n minus 1 by 2 4 into 3 by 2 so this, this is 6 yeah we have 6 edges see the 4 corners and 2 diagonals right so we have 6 edges so this is a popular algorithm so while doing the dfs traversal of any of the component we can find the number of edges see if i get the number of edges then i can uh, use my formula right i know the vertices also why i can i can do one thing i can uh, push all of the I, I can also count the number of vertices also right I, it is easy to calculate the number of vertices and to, to count the number of edges you can just uh, print the, take the size of the vector right adjacency list or uh, vector right vector of vectors so then i have the edges i have the vertices i would use this formula if my uh, edges is equal equal to vertices into vertices minus 1 by 2 then i can say that the component is complete and if, if, if this is the case i would increment my count so it is as simple as that uh, i would like directly move on to the code now see so code is very simple see what i have done see this is not required i would remove it uh, now only see i have taken one graph uh, sorry adjacency list i have made the adjacency list from the edges given okay now i am checking if if any of my node is not visited then what i am doing see i am taking one temporary vector okay and then i am passing it to the dfs call right in the in the dfs call what i am doing i am marking the visited no node to be visited and i am incrementing my edges to be the adjacency list size see why i am doing this this is very important to understand so please pay attention over here so i have my graph as 0 to 1 and 0 to 2 and 1 to 2 so while i am doing the dfs of see in my adjacency list it would be 0 from 1 to 2 1 0 and uh, 2 would be 0 right this is this would be my adjacency list right so from 0 i have two edges to 1 and 2 right so i am incrementing my edges count by the size of my adjacency list which is 2 right similarly for 1 i have edge from 0 edge to 0 right so i am incrementing my edges count by 1 right here i am incrementing my edges account by 2 because i have two edges right so this is my edges and edges plus equal to i am doing the size of my adjacency list 
and if the node is again i am iterating towards child children of that node and if any of them are not visited then i am calling the dfs call again so this is a standard dfs call there is nothing new in this just the two the two things are there i am pushing the nodes or i am pushing the count of i am pushing the vertices and i am incrementing my edges right finally i have uh, edges and vertices in the right the count of vertices is uh, the size of my vector and edges i have already passed as a ref pass this as a reference so i would get the count of edges also right now uh, yeah this is bit i mean i do not need to do that this i found out later so see now you will get twice the number of edges why why i am saying that so when i do dfs from i am this taking this first example only okay so this is 0 to 1 sorry yeah 0 to 1 0 to Two and one to two, right? So when I do DFS, see, am I initially my edges count as zero, right? Now when I start from zero, I will move, I will increment my edges to be two, right? Edges plus equal to edges and list of size, right? Zero to one, one to two, one to zero, and uh, two to one, right? And zero also, yeah. And one also, one also from zero and two, right? So this is my edges and list, right? So now initially my edges count would be two. Now I would move on to one of the children of node one, a uh, zero, right? Let's say I moved on to one. Now again I would increment my edges count to be two, right? But this edge is counted twice, right? Similarly, this edge would be count. See, once this was edge was counted from zero to one, but again when I am traversing for one, again this edge is count counted, right? Now edges count is four. Finally, my edges count would be six, right? When I go to two, right? So each of the edges have been counted twice, right? So I would do edges divide by equal to two, right? So this would give me the edges count of my of that component, right? So what I am doing edges divide equal to two, and finally I am checking if my vertices into vertices minus one is equal to edges, then I am incrementing my count. Okay, I do not need to do this also because I am obviously multiplying it by two again here. So yeah, you can bit optimize it, but at the time of contest, since uh, we need we are in a hurry. so i just uh, did this and yeah finally i'm returning my count so it is a simple question just you need to understand the basic concepts of uh, complete graph connected component and dfs traversal and i would paste the code in the description in case you have any doubts comment it down do not forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching